Welcome, Welcome to Soap. Soap. That is, that is my, my life. life. Hello, hello. Um, finally gonna tell you something about the simulation theory, uh, my take on it, and the Mandela effect, um, or how it relates, could relate to the Mandela effect. Uh, what I learned in my research is that, uh, well, the simulation theory is, it's basically we're living in a matrix, we're living in a computer simulation. And there are several reasons why this could be. It could be that uh, we are created as a social, uh, a social story. It could be that we, uh, we are just in a game. Uh, or, or something. Uh, there are even people that we think who think that we might um, have been uh, created as a vacation uh, option for people to come in and, and go on vacation. But then uh, it's a rather violent world to go into a vacation. I think. Well, sometimes or in some places. Uh, anyway, um, but is there like a um, scientific basis for that, for this, or why is, is there a reason why we, we or, or an indication that we could be like uh, in a simulation? The answer is apparently yes. Uh, there is a um, scientist, I forgot his name, James, James... Probably gonna put it up here. I, I forgot his name. Uh, and he apparently found a code embedded inside uh, mathematical formulas. So he, in in the fabric of the universe. Well, the mathematical formulas they they use to 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 identify the fabric of the universe has a special kind of computer code embedded in it. So, that could be an indication. Uh, there are some people who are uh, actually looking for like the grain of the universe, like the, the pixelation of it, where, where does the, uh, the quality of the universe, where, where does the, 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 the like the, the, the finite ends, where the pixel is ending, and where they can like see that there is a pixelation to the universe or a quality about it and people like John Elvridge or Jim Elvridge uh, believe that it has been found um, I don't I don't know about this this stuff um, and the basic theory is uh, Nick Bolstrom came up with it. He's, a, I think, a Swede that uh, is a scientist. Um, I believe it is the Cambridge University. If I'm wrong about that, you can always uh, correct me in the com comment box. But he came up first with the idea. And the idea is that uh, if you think about the fact that how far our computer knowledge is going now and with the uh, D-Wave computers and stuff that in, in, in less than 50 years we can probably make a simulation like like this and if you uh, count a lot of years ahead even that there are probably billions of simulations running on normal uh, household PCs or computers uh, that the chance is probably greater that we are in a simulation rather than being the original universe. But uh, it's a probability study. But there is a, a catch to that probability. Namely, um, if you see the, um, the population of Earth, if you see the, the, the division in, in, in races, then the probability would be great that I would be Chinese, but apparently I'm not. You can look close, I'm not. Uh, anyway, um, 
another thing is that code that they found ingrained in this in the sim in, in the fabric of the of the universe it's just a description code is how the universe is described and the fact that uh, there is something that is difficult to code inside a computer uh, for instance time or emotion it's i don't know if that you can really uh, code this unless we are a byproduct for something you know my personal take is i i'm not inclined to think we're in a simulation and even i watched the um annual isaac asimov um debate about this and most of them they don't even believe even the guy who who found the code doesn't really believe that that we're in a in, in a simulation i think he said like like it was a seven percent chance or something um but anyway i'm i'm kind of afraid of the idea that we're in a simulation if we're like a game then what are we set dressing i mean i'm i'm not gonna be the the main character so if we're like in a historical study the historical study will go on at, at the top where you know in america where trump or in syria where, where isis is going so again we're like set dressing and then what is the sense of it? What, what, what is the meaning of life? And I, and I like to think there is some meaning to it. Now, uh, the question came up. Um, if we're in a simulation, wouldn't we see something like in the background radiation of the universe? Wouldn't we see like... Uh, the, the, wouldn't we see like something that doesn't fit and that that is that, that it looks like a simulation and the answer was yeah maybe but maybe our technology isn't uh isn't um advanced enough and what also came up was is simple if we found proof that the universe is real yes, just just think about it we came up with proof that the universe is real and not a simulation and then the simulation guy they could argue that actually this is was it was programmed for us to find so uh, what they were actually saying is that we probably would never be able to find proof that we are real but we probably might find proof when we're a simulation it's all pretty scary but what does this have to do with the mandela effect well the mandela effect could just be that thing that proves we are in a simulation it could be a glitch in the matrix uh, it could be that uh, this particular simulation where we're in has been attacked by a virus for instance that uh, randomly changes stuff and still leave re leaves residue it could be that the programmer is trying to find out how people would react if there were changes um, or something or we, they just rebooted it and something went wrong or, or, or whatever or they, they, they changed something to the program whatever that could all be an indication uh, or could all be the reason why the Mandela effect is um, actually occurring in this reality um, I hope you <laughs> learned something from this I hope you liked it and uh, if you can add to this or if you can give me some tips and links to learn more about this you know the drill the comment box below and from my reality to yours I hope to see you again next time bye